We've got a kitchen faucet here with a low pressure. If we turn it on, it's definitely lower than normal. So this, luckily mine's an easy fix. Uh, don't mind this doesn't retract all the way back. I'm gonna do that in a different video, how to fix that. But let's fix the water pressure right now. So faucets, whether it's a bathroom or kitchen, they have what's called an aerator and those can get clogged up. So the easiest way to test if your low pressure is not something serious and is just a clogged aerator is to test your different faucets in your house. If your kitchen's running low, but your bathroom runs just fine or vice versa, then it's likely to be just isolated at that faucet. And hopefully it's just your aerator because that's an easy fix. So every faucet comes with an aerator right here, which is this screen looking guy right there. And over time, the minerals behind there and even little particles of sand or debris can clog it up and, and slow down your water pressure. So aerators are all different, they're, they're attached in all sorts of different ways. They can be screwed on from the outside right here. Um, they can have two little notches right here that you can use a special tool for to get them off. But a lot of them look like this. They have like a, like a clock around the edges with teeth. You can get a special tool to remove the aerator, but sometimes you can remove them with just kind of your nails or your finger, or I like to use just a pair of needle nose pliers. Get on one side of the teeth there, then get on the other across from it and gently push down while you rotate it out. You just need to get it started enough that you can then do it with your, with your hands and your fingernails. Just rotate this out. You can see that coming out right there. Now you can see there's some debris in the back of here. So now I'm just going to flip this around so I push the debris out the other side. So I'm going to put stuff this back up into my faucet here. I'm stuffing that back in backwards so it forces the debris out. And that's it. Now you can see the difference in water pressure. When I don't have this aerator on, the water comes streaming out. And you can see it's kind of unruly water. It's kind of all over the place. So that's the point of this aerator. A, it conserves water um, by reducing the amount of water coming out, but it also makes one nice, perfect stream coming out. So we're just gonna put the aerator back on. I'll use my needle nose to tighten it the rest of the way. Just be very gentle, because these are plastic and you don't wanna booger them. If you really can't get it out, you can go on Amazon and buy one of these aerator removal tools. They're very cheap. The only thing is you'll have to wait a few days for them to arrive. Okay, now that's back on. We'll test it again. And there we go. Now we have a nice strong water pressure. Hope that helps you out and you didn't have to call a plumber.